Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to another video. Now, unfortunately, um, I recorded the entire video, and then when I went to the editor to start editing the video, uh, there was no audio to it. My OBS had decided, I'm going to set all your audio settings to default, so you can't hear anything in the game. And you can't hear anything in um, me. You can't hear me. So I didn't like that. And we're going to have to do this video all over again. So welcome to uh, take uh, technically three, but I'm going to say two. So basically, we are making a super advanced block. Now technically, I also was thinking about this. The sponge is an advanced block super advanced block. If I had copy and pasted and then changed a couple things, that would just be your advanced block. Uh, or simply if I just copied and pasted it, really, uh, that would also have been an advanced block. Um, but uh, a super advanced block is when you take things from other other classes. And uh, although we basically, because I, I, I did that previously and I said don't worry about it, we'll talk about more of it in this video. So now we're going to be talking about what we did. So we are going to take our cement block and we are going to call this, uh, we are making a boom block. And we'll write it again here, boom uh, block. And then when we go in through our thing, uh, our boom block is going to be uh, uh, no, uh, it's going to be a non-collision. And we're going to keep the uh, the luminance and uh, emissive lighting. I want them next to each other. Control D. Uh, and we're not going to have it require tool. Like that. All right. So, basically, because I had to explain this all over again, a um, couple things. You're going to make a new Java class, and we are going to call it a Boom Block. And this is going to have to extend block. And then you are going to make this constructor matching super. And then you can change this to boom block. Perfect. Grand. Absolutely fantastic. Moving on. Um, I basically, if you want to double shift and you want to look up uh, blocks, right, uh, from uh, the Minecraft blocks, you can go through all this uh, over. Uh, so basically, your uh, sand block, you know, extends falling block and we don't want it to say falling block we want something to extend just regular block so if i click on falling block we have a, a extends block and implements something called a landing block this is mainly what we're doing we don't need to get color all right so we're going to control c in our boom block and then we are going to control v um we already did the the extends block uh Boom blocks to fix that. All your problems are sort of solved. Why is this bad? I have no idea what that issue was. It, I don't know. All right. And so to make a super class, I need to take something from another class and then implement it in here. So I went to the blocks. I went through the here you can tell is where all your different kind of blocks are. We already went through experience dropping block. That's why it's technically a super class because that was mixed with uh, whatever. Uh, I wanted the uh, the cobweb block. Uh, cob, uh, cob web. And the reason is because it's got this on entity collision, and that deals with your block state, your world, your block position, and your entity. This it does like everything, <laughs> everything you could possibly want. I basically just want this method. So we're gonna take it, and then let's just shove it at the bottom here. Let's put that here, and then like that. Put a little extra space in it. Bam, on entity collision. And then I want this thing. So what do I want? So now it's already technically super block. I've mixed two things, but now I want to give it an extra special twist. Kind of like how with the skulk sponge, the it's not absorbing fluid, it's absorbing blocks. So for this, what do I want this to do? Uh, surprisingly, I would want this to do TNT entity uh, block, uh, just like this. And um, I basically want it so that when you collide, it's going to blow up. And to do that, you got your TNT, TNT entity. And let's click on our uh, entity here. 
and let's see how does it do that it basically says uh, explode and so this is the file that we are going to want to take see how there's nothing in the parameter that generally means that you could use it literally in anything it's it just if it's got no special parameters like that so we're just going to take this right here and then we are going to do like that bam and then we're going to do the world, and then entity is this, so we are going to do uh, entity, and then this would be uh, position, uh, position, and then this would also be position, position dot, no, this would just be get y, and we don't need this in here, uh, world explosion dot tnt. So that is the type, and this would create an explosion. Uh, let's make this uh, power of 32. So this will destroy the blocks in the world, but there's nothing saying, I want the uh, the player to be damaged. So we are going to need to add ent our own personal entity damage here, and we can do that by entity dot damage, and this is going to need something called damage source. And if I do uh, damage source dot falling block, actually, I can write explosion, can I? entity hmm well we can't necessarily do that because uh, our our entity is a falling block so we need our our um, our block damn a thing to be a, a block damage float cannot be applied damage source why not oh because I forgot the float number <laughs> obviously <laughs> So we're going to have this do a 32 uh, damage. And so the damage source, the, the NC damage, the damage source is going to be from the falling block. If the block falls, it's fine. It's on entity collision. So we're just going to keep this as falling block. So basically, this is going to say uh, you got squished <laughs> if you die from this. Um, but that should generally be that. Uh, from here, we need to add all the specialties to this to so our loot table. Control D. And then we're going to call this the boom block model provider. We are going to do control D and then this is going to be called boom block. Uh, and our um, textures, I, I'll tell you what I did. So I replaced all the red with a uh, redstone block and I t replaced all the dark textures to light. I did that whole little fade thing. The TNT letters are not blue. They are now the colors of gunpowder. And the white background is a sand color. So that is what's making our boom block. That's fine. Always remember you got your lang file, control D, little bit of a comma. This is going to be called boom block. And then we are gonna call it in here as boom block as such. All right, so that is all there. Uh, so let's take a, a peeky peek and see if it worked. Now for you, you're gonna have to go into your Gradle and you're gonna have to do run data generator once. I don't have to do that because this is the second time that I've done this video. And so all of my data is already in there. So from there, you can run your client and just see if everything is working a-okay. All right, we are going to create a new world because if we just take a little peeky peek in this world, um, everything will load perfectly fine. Um, this boom block is a, it's a little intense, so we're going to have to get a brand new world because of what I did in the last one. All right, so we got this. We can go into our search. We can search up boom block, and here it is. This is what I'm talking about. You don't have the, uh, on the top part, it's got the... Uh, TNT. So let's take a look at what happens. So it is a falling block, and when it falls, it hits the ground. N nothing happens. It. You can see how it is. I kept the lightness on it, so while it's falling, it only has the emissive brightness, but as soon as it is done falling, it will give off the light level of 15. So uh, what we need to do is we need to let's place uh, things like this, and then let's add a little chicken to the center. So basically, this doesn't have to be player entity. This is literally any entity that dares touches the block. <gasps> I missed it. Do it again.
All right, so if we have a chicken fall and then we have this touch, you can tell, yeah, he's he's pretty gone. Now, does it have to be this strong? Absolutely not. So let me give you a, uh, some of the examples. So basically, TNT is worth a value of four, uh, and crystals have a value of six. Uh, spawning a when you spawn the the wither, I think that is the highest value with a number of nine. So in here, in these little integers, these float integers, they are going to go from anywhere of a value from 1 to 128. However, Java starts at 0, so it'll be from 0 to 127. And I, uh, this could be a lot more powerful, but I'm just going to leave it at 32, because it doesn't need to be uh, any stronger. So the thing about the TNT is that this could be placed on one another, but the TNT cannot fall on itself. It will, uh, it'll do that. Um, it seems that the TNT block is dropping uh, a thing, and uh, I don't want it to do that. So for this loot table generator, we're actually going to be taking it out of there. Uh, I forgot... Uh, that you don't want it to do that. So we're just going to go back in our data, our loot tables, boom block, and we're just going to delete the loot table because we don't, we don't want that. And blast protection, blast protection, and then we are just going to wear the full suit of armor, and we're going to, we're going to see, uh, can this, uh, can this kill me? Uh, pff, almost, but it did not kill me, so uh, we are in the green. If you guys are curious on what happened to that poor, poor world, um, I did a slash fill command. I put a bunch of TNT, and then as they spawned, they kind of fell on each other, so then I had a massive just explosion, and it took uh, probably about an hour to process. So uh, if you're having troubles, you can try and uh, turn the, the explosion down. But that is going to be all for uh, me in this video. This is going to be the ending of all the like uh, like the advanced blocks stuff. We're going to start moving into uh, materials now. So we can start getting onto like foods and tools, armor, and all that kind of stuff. So we're kind of done with blocks for a little bit. This is the most advanced. So you're going to start running into some issues the further we kind of push on this topic. And so we'll get back to it when we get into some advanced topics. But we got plenty of things to get through. But anyways, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 